I was involved in green movement, uh, ecological movement, and um, and I found that uh, we are lacking solutions there. We are, let's say, uh, trying to protect uh, forest you now from being logged and, and and things like that. But what's the model uh, where we want to live in? And then when I came for, for the first time to the Gen meeting in Svanholm in Denmark in 2006, it, uh, it, it really kind of opened the whole world uh, before my eyes. I saw, wow, this, uh, I hadn't an idea that this kind of people exist, this kind of places exist. And this was really like, a, in a very sense, the eye-opening uh, uh, event. Gen is creating models for living together on this planet uh, for the 21st and the next centuries. That's maybe in a nutshell. Um, they are experimenting. Uh, these communities can be seen as, uh, as laboratories uh, because uh, it's, it's quite obvious and, and uh, we won't go deep into it, but we have <laughs> some problems here in the world. And, um, and uh, there are no real good solutions on the political level at the moment. Uh, and I see GEN as, as one of the networks and there are not too many of them who have created the solutions in lab laboratories like, like these. And, uh, and uh, now what's important, uh, GEN is ready to really open up and, and uh, offer if there is demand, and I know there is demand, these solutions for anyone who is interested to listen. The good news is that uh, the, uh, there are lots of solutions for all kinds of situations uh, and that uh, we have to just pick the right tools. There is uh, a really good uh, program or curriculum put together and it's called EDE or Eco Village Design Education uh, and it's uh, really, I must say, I can say it's, it's really holistic. Uh, it has the economy, ecology, worldview and social part in it. And, uh, <clears throat> and what's more important even, it's, um, uh, it's experiential. Uh, it's, it's nothing like that, uh, that you, somebody lectures you for the whole day and, and, uh, and then that's it. No, uh, you really go into it and experience what, what, what it's like to live ecologically, uh, live in a community. Uh, things like that, so it moves something in you. Actually, the, the clean up project, the Let's Do It project, uh, the idea of which is, is to clean up uh, a country in one day that we started in Estonia in 2008, and uh, now it has spread really without um, any big effort from our side uh, because uh, the garbage is really kind of touching people, that is, people don't really like garbage and they want to live in a clean country. So. Uh, so it's, it's, it's spreading all over, all over the world and, and, and for example the best cleanup ever happened in, in uh, 2010, last year, happened in Slovenia with 13.5% uh, of the population coming out in one day to, to clean the country. And the guy who started it was uh, Nara uh, on Gen meeting, he heard about it, he went back to Slovenia, he sent out an email just uh, who is interested and people came and, and what's important he used uh, the tools, the methods uh, created here in, in communities to, to, to carry out uh, the team building and all the, all the work uh, that is huge with, with one cleanup. Uh, for, for the urban society, I see great value in, in what Jen has been doing um, in, in the uh, social technology, social methods that have been developed, let's say, in, in, the, in the communities. Because um, um, the question we have to answer and the solutions we have to find is really how we live together with uh, low impact or even with uh, harmony. Uh, in harmony with, uh, with, uh, with nature, with earth, with the planet. And as, as most of the people live in a city, so it's, it's obvious that, uh, that uh, we have to work in the cities or we have to create, we have to change the cities themselves. Uh, but uh, in these Gen laboratories, the tools for change have been created that are now can be used now in cities. 
we uh, introduced the Gaia education, the ED, Ecovillage Design Education in Estonia. Uh, that was, uh, let's say, lots of crea creativity, lots of work. Um, and uh, actually, I've been trying uh, to introduce uh, the, the concepts, the models, the technologies I've learned here in these circles uh, in the politics. But I must tell you, it's difficult. <laughs>